Warning, the following video may or may not contain opinions that differ from yours. If you're easily offended, stay off the internet. Oh, vampire rain altered species, where do I even begin with you? Well, hello there, everybody. My name's On Zero, and welcome to a quick scope of Vampire Rain Altered Species. Now, there's not a lot to say about this game in terms of it, the game, really. There's not, there's not too much to say, but, but boy, do I have a lot to say. First of all, the sound design's really weird. For instance, there's just no sound at the main menu. At all. But as soon as you go into play, it's like blah 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 blah. It's really loud. I don't get it. So before I really get into the gameplay of this, there are a few things I want to talk about. And first of which is what the game has done right. And I don't have to show you any gameplay to tell you what the game has done right. That's sad. That's really sad. So, now we're going to move on to what the game didn't do right. I'm kidding. No. Okay. To be fair, the game has gotten one thing right, and that is Hint. the visual aspect. I'm just going to skip those, because we'll get to the AMVs in a minute. Or FMVs. The visual aspect of the vampires themselves don't look horrible. And I have to say, I do actually like the way that they look, because they do look like your more lore-friendly vampires to, you know, as opposed to Twilight. Which I'm not even going to go there. I don't even know what mission I selected. First things for okay, just shut up. Oh, this is the wrong mission. I think. No, it's not. This will work. This gives me time to talk, and I'll just turn the game volume down or something. But, one thing I will say is, this game was originally released in 2007. Or was it 2006? I might have the years wrong, but it doesn't matter. It was released at some point, and then a year... It was released for the Xbox 360. I know this sounds really bad, but I really don't care that much about this game, and you really don't need to know any of this. But it was released, I think, in 2007 for the Xbox 360 under the name Vampire Reign. And that's it. And a year later, they decided to make Vampire Reign Altered Species. Now, I, as well as many people, when they heard that at first, thought they maybe made a sequel to the game which would have been weird because the game was insanely poorly received. This game is just horrible. It's made by AQ Interactive and after doing a lot of research, the only other notable game they've made is Bullet Witch, which was also for the Xbox 360. This game is the only PlayStation 3 game they ever made, if that says anything for you. Uh, but, we're not talking about Bullet Witch, so I won't go into that game, but I do actually like that one. This game, when it was originally made for the Xbox 360, was ridiculously difficult. Even playing on normal, there was just almost no hope to ever beating this game, and for some reason, I took the time to sit down and actually play the game all the way through and beat it and I regretted everything about it because I have six hours into this version of the game and I'm maybe not even halfway through the game so and I I don't even feel like completing this game to show you a like completed game review because I already know the ending of the game now they had supposedly added new content to the game and new cutscenes to the game to better explain the horrid story that they have but so far I've seen one new cutscene that I didn't see in the original game and that was the first cutscene that they showed me, and so far nothing new has been seen after six hours of gameplay other than the difficulty was lowered, but at a weird rate. Like, you can kill vampires a little bit more easily now, but that doesn't mean they give you the actual ammo 
to actually have a fighting chance against the vampires. Now, to be fair, this is a stealth game, so I will, I I'll give them that. You know, it's stealthy. Fighting is mainly a last defense, but by that point, you might as well just restart because you're gonna die if you get seen by a vampire and you're at all close to them, unless you're at like maximum full range, like. I could hit him from here, I might be able to take him out, but we'll get to that in a second. The concept of the stealth game, you know, where you sneak around the city trying to avoid vampires, it... What? Excuse me? What do I do about that? What are, what are you doing? You just jump out of the sewers, okay. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna die. No? Well, there's the core gameplay right there. Getting seen by a vampire, nothing happening. Like, in the original game, if you got seen by a vampire, like, they spotted you, they were on your butt, and they just killed you, pretty much. But, like, right there, like, he spotted me, like, I don't know, it blinked eight times in nothing. I'm, what, six minutes into this review and I'm already talking about how horrid this game is and it's already showing you for me how bad this game is designed. Like, I could just stand here. It's supposed to be a stealth game. It's supposed to be a stealth game. But, as you saw the little things going, I don't, I can't make this sound, but the little thing flashing up on the screen and that sound it was making, that's your, like, vampire senses, because apparently your main character can feel when a vampire is looking at him. However that works, I'm not really sure. Um, they kind of don't explain that at all, except that, hey, this guy is good with vampires, apparently, because he was unarmed in some kind of facility and somehow managed to survive a vampire attack, which makes you think that they're going to lead to, like, him secretly turning out to be a vampire this whole time, but they don't ever explore that pot plot line at all. They just kind of brush over it, like, oh yeah, that happened. Even though that would never happen in the game, you could never do anything like that. It, it is completely unlore friendly but it happened, so we'll just accept it, I guess. And... I don't know, it's just, it, there's so many bad design choices in this game. Like, for instance, if you sit still for more than three seconds, the controls pop up every single time. It's a little bit distracting, and it's kind of makes you feel like it needs to hold your hand the whole entire game. But, in all fairness, it just kind of does do that, actually. Because anytime something happens, like, as you saw, like, oh, there's a cinematic explaining what's happening. Okay. Couldn't you just have him pop out of the ground? It'd be a li bit more alarming rather than, hold on, let's cut away from you, let's slowly pan over the sewer panel, and then boom. Like, if he would've just jumped out of the sewer panel, it would've been actually alarming, it would've been surprising, it would've made you react to it in a different way, but they just didn't choose to do that, I guess, for whatever reason. Also, going prone... I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna test it out right here. Sometimes it makes you invisible to these guys up to a point. I mean, obviously, if you're right in front of them, it's not gonna work, but sometimes, like, they'll just turn and look at you and you, you won't have seen when if you stood up, you would, which I guess that makes sense, but they're vampires. But here's their, um, Deus Ex Machina for that. It's raining. Yep, that's that's why the vampires can't see you, even though they have insane, insanely enhanced visual and audio and smell. I don't know capabilities like you know, like enhanced sight. They can hear miles away. They can smell you from miles away. Apparently, the rain stops that from happening, and they become little mindless dummy dolls that can't hear or see anything. For instance, like, any normal person really would know I'm back here. I mean, you're supposed to have, like, super senses or something, but nope. He doesn't see me, apparently. We Like, it's a stealth game, but it doesn't do stealth very well. Sometimes it will just randomly decide, oh, hey, 
we're gonna make you sneak around these guys, and they're actually gonna be good patrolling, and they're actually gonna be able to, you know, it's difficult to actually get around them. And then there's guys like that, and it's just, he doesn't even see me. Like, I could probably do a little dance over here. Do 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 Hey there, hey there, how's it going? Do 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 He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. But if I try to attack him, this is what happens. What happens? Oh god, okay. I actually killed him. That is amazing. Normally that wouldn't happen. And that, like I said, like, in the other game, like, that would never have happened. I would have maybe got half of his health gone. Like, this guy over here? Uh, okay. There's points in the game where it wants you to fight something. And it puts you... Let's go back to where I was. Like, right here. If I wanted to fight him... I wouldn't be able to do it, because... Oh, there we go. I'm dead. And here's the... Oh no. Here's the dreaded game over. Ooh. Like, I, there is a health bar. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out why there is a health bar. Because if you get hit once, you're dead. You can't get away from them. You don't have any chance to stand up before you attack them again. You're just dead. Can now let's examine moving? these for a second. I'm correlating her location coordinates with the probe's video data transmission. That looks like a picture to me. We've got the location, now let's go and get her. That's... that's their, uh, cutscenes there. Real interesting stuff. Now, if you didn't notice, the voice acting... It's because there isn't any. It's just, there's no voice acting there. There's no effort put into that at all. If there's either no effort or there's way too much effort. Like, if there, if I come across a scene with the president, Let's go! Or, apparently, that right there, there's way too much effort put into it sometimes. And sometimes it feels like they don't even care. Which, honestly, if I was a part of this project, I would have given up before even recording my first line. But, you notice how I had, like, a machine gun and a... The last one? Yeah, no, just a pistol with one clip. I could have played from the last mission. Actually, if you played the last mission, you have a machine gun, you have a SMG, you have a pistol, and you have a shotgun. And in this gun, they this game, this level, they take all that away from you. Even though... Kelly's readings are coming from in here. There's 20 people in here. Oh, and you hear that music? I hope you like it. Because it's one of two audio tracks that play throughout this entire game. The other one was the music that played when I was fighting the vampires you heard earlier. That, that, there's, your, there's your two songs. There's your two songs. When is the, uh, when's the soundtrack coming out? Where can I buy that? I want these two songs in my life. So, this is the extent of the stealth gameplay. There is no stealth gameplay. It's literally, hey, find a path and then walk that path. And then get to point, from point A to point B. That There's no actual stealth element to it. It's just get from point A to point B and, oh, is there a guard there? Oh, go a different way. Like, there's no real sneaking involved. There's no real avoiding enemies. It's just... Like, if you play Splinter Cell, like, you have to find ways around guards' patterns. You have to... You, know, you can take different approaches, find which way you think's the best way to go. You know, there's multiple paths to take. This is just... Oh, there's an enemy there. Go the other way. And they just... They don't move. They don't patrol. There's just... It's horrible. And if you ever tried to, like, in this, shoot anyone for no good reason whatsoever, you would never stand a chance. If you play Splinter Cell, it's not the smartest idea to go up against these enemies and try to, you know, go and shoot them all, but it's possible. 
And I get, you know, oh, you're fighting against vampires. Okay, that hmm? does make s Apparently that guy can hear me. None of the other ones can. I mean, I guess it does make sense. Oh, and I guess the audio's... The track's gone. Okay. Yeah, the, the music doesn't loop. Once it's done, it's just, hey, here I am. Okay, see you later. It's gone. It's done. That's it. See that guy? Like, look at that. That's not stealth gameplay. That's just... That's just bad. Just bad gameplay. Like, I didn't... Like, that guy... Any human would have seen me. I don't care if the rain dampens their senses. Like, again... That is the third time playing this level that it's just cut away from something. And to go look at something else. And just completely... Taken me out of the immersion of the game, which there isn't any of that. I, if you notice, that guy was glowing yellow, and the reason that was is because he's a parrot walker, which is, you know, if you kind of, maybe I can, can I get back up here? I cannot. Well, if you see the little lines coming off of him right there, uh, any, if you kill him, anyone that he supposedly turned into a vampire would die along with them, which I will give them one thing. Technically, in most cases of vampire lore, would be true and accurate. So, they got that right. Captain, Kelly's not here. What do you mean she's not there? All I've found here is her transmitter. She's probably been moved to somewhere else. Are you trying to tell me she's been... Hold it, someone's coming. Oh yeah, nobody that would see that. Caught. Where did they take her? She's been moved to a holding facility. Her presence worries me. I've had extra guards placed around her. She won't be going anywhere soon. I wonder who sent her. If you want, I could interrogate her. Yes, please take care of it right away. Isn't that voice acting phenomenal? I don't care if you're vampires or not. You were human before you turned into a vampire. Nobody you talks like that, it's the Captain. 1800s. Yeah, if he's headed for Kelly, follow him. Let him lead you to Kelly. Where did we get Whatever that energy from? Don't touch him until you find her. This game just it doesn't make any sense. It's just bad. I'm just kind of playing it just to kind of explain to you. It, should be really self-explanatory. Oh, he's not moving. What am I doing? Did, did it break? Did it break? Oh, there we go. Whoa! Stuff. What? Oh, that guy's still there. Oh, wait a second. Right. Okay, men. We're done here. Return to your stations. What? I've got visual data from the airborne probe. The guards in the area have pulled out. That should make it easier to track your target. Like, again, why? That's so dumb. They just made the game like... <clears throat> like, why? <coughs> oh, and I actually... When I played this level the first time, I actually went through and killed all these people. Like, wait, like, you see I just picked up that knife. That's a UV knife. It's a knife that, uh, when you inject it into the vampire, or night walkers as they call them, emits UV rays. But for some reason, even though they can't be out in the sun, it only works if it's inside of them. They don't have any UV ray guns. They don't... Their bullets are somehow ultraviolet bullets. Like... Heading somewhere? I'm going to interrogate that woman we captured. Could In I be case, any more exposition truck. heavy? I've got a package that has to go out there. 
I can't even listen to that voice anymore. Lloyd, he's using the truck to get to Kelly's location. Sneak your way into the truck. Okay. We're just... Oh! Nope, actually, no, that is the music that plays during combat, so... Yep, one of two audio tracks. Here we go. But, like... They don't even care with their lines that they're delivering. It's just... It's almost sad. How bad this game was just made. Like, let alone that the story is bad. The delivery is just horrible. What am I doing? Okay. Is that necessary? Lloyd, you should be safe if you get to the roof of the truck. Well, how do you want me to do that? Oh, no. Those guys are undercover, but apparently the rain still dampens their senses. And also... Why? Why is this guy waiting so long? Like, literally, I have another 45 seconds. I could sit here for 40 seconds and still be okay. This isn't even a challenge. Uh-oh. I hope nobody notices the dude dropping and standing on top of the truck. Even though they're vampires. Nope. Doesn't say anything. You know, what would you do if you just parked down the middle of the street? Or like, does that guy not see you? Are there not security cameras? Are the vampires just really dumb? Have we been lied to this whole time? Also, how does a city just... get overrun with vampires but there's still humans there? Just randomly? And also, why are they trying to take out... Why are they kidnapping FBI agents? I mean, none of this makes any sense to me. I'm using the airborne probe to scan the cabin that the Nightwalker entered. I'm forwarding the coordinates over now. <sighs> no luck. I can't get any interior readings. Well, Kelly's duh, probably it's... being held in there. It's an airborne Boy, it's probe. It's up to you to get inside and find her. Why would you get any readings from it? It's just... Like, oh, I have to go literally right there. I don't have a knife that can cut through this. I don't have any kind of technology to get me over, around, or through this fence. So, guess what I have to do? Go around the entire facility. That's... Again, really? I mean... I wasn't even sneaking, I just ran. I'm literally standing. The guy is looking right at me. Right at me. Nothing. Like, I remember this game being hard. It's not... What? Yeah, like, if you, if you think about the game and you actually try to take it... How you would think a stealth game would play? It's hard. But it's not. It's really just... The only thing that's even scary about this game, because they, in a lot of times, try to build it as a... Oh god, jeez, my cat just stepped on me. That was scarier than the game itself, because something touched me and I wasn't expecting it. But... <laughs> the only thing that's scary about this game is that if somebody kills you, you have to restart pretty much a large portion of the mission, and that's scary, because that means you have to play the game more. This, that is the only scary thing about this game. Can I just, like, waddle waddle? No, apparently you can't reach around that hole. Logic. Yay. Um, am I even going the right way? I don't think I am. I'm supposed to be getting up there. How do I do that? Oh god. Fed birds. Yeah, they can't hear people running or jumping or anything, but 
apparently birds are an issue. They can hear birds. Okay, why? What am I supposed to do here? What, what am I supposed to do here? What? I don't understand this. I really don't. I'm trying. I'm trying to get this. Oh, do I gotta go to the other? Oh, I gotta go to the other side of it, maybe? Climb up that pipe? Is that what I have to do? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's go. Uh, there's a security guard there. That would kill me. Alright, so maybe this wasn't the right way to go. Okay. No, maybe, maybe if these guys wouldn't take away my weapons, this wouldn't be a problem at all. Are you going to randomly decide to see me? Do I, I think I need to go over there. I think this is literally pointless to come this way. Oh god. Oh, dang it. And I'm dead. Look at that. <laughs> oh, so scary. I kind of forgot I have the new UV knives, actually. Okay, yes, I get it. I have to not go the way I went at all. That whole building, pointless. There's a dude up there. She can't go that way. But I can go this way. Again, it's literally just find the path that nobody's looking at. And then go that way. It's too easy. It's effortless. Do I have to kill that guy, or is he going to turn around? So he's going to turn around, I'm screwed. Maybe he won't turn around. Like, that's the thing, you never know what the AI is going to do, because it's just so badly coded. Uh, that's... You're dead, I guess. Oh, and they're, um, they dissolve into vomit and diarrhea when they die, and it's apparently explosive diarrhea because it hurts you. But I mean, you know, not, not that much, just kind of like, it hurts you enough to where, like, if you stepped in diarrhea, you'd kind of be like, ugh, I just stepped in diarrhea. That's about the same effect it has. It's really pointless for it to hurt you at all. What is that? Ooh, pistol ammo. The pistol is absolutely worthless. Because you saw I was actually able to kill that one vampire because it's using the assault rifle. That wouldn't happen with the pistol. It doesn't fire enough. It's not strong enough. It's I guess those birds were supposed to be so he would see me. But since the game just bad, it didn't work. Well, I was going to say, before that actually happened, was the only use the pistol actually has is to scare off birds. Because birds are the only thing... Was I supposed to kill those people? Oh. Birds are the only thing that these guys can hear through the rain. Footsteps, walking right behind them. Nope. Can't smell you. Can't see you. But they can hear birds. Bye. God, I will die before they won't hear birds. I don't know what's happening here. Is there a guy in there? No. Do I need in there? Do I go in here? Should I go in here? Can I go in here? Well, nobody's here. Why did the music stop? Was it supposed to stop or did it just decide it was done? Is there a reason it stopped? Should I be worried that it stopped? Do I care that it stopped? Oh no, it's Kelly.
I guess I should hide. Um, let's see. What should I do? Wait, I don't care. I really don't care. I think I've shown you enough of this game. If, if you don't agree with me that the game is bad by now, then I don't know what you're doing with your life. I thought that put me at the main menu, but apparently hit the wrong button. Okay. It's just, it doesn't want you to quit. It's like, please no, <laughs> please no, don't, don't, okay. So, um, I actually did remember. Th there was, uh, one more thing I wanted to talk about, and that was that, uh, my dad played this game a really long time ago. When it first came out, he bought it, and my dad's a game that completes pretty much any game he plays. He has almost completed Skyrim, like, literally found almost one of every single possible item, every, gone to every place in the game, done every quest and all the DLC. He completed two worlds, which in its own should say a lot. He completed Cars Mater National, and he completed this one weird Bionicle game that I didn't even play when I was 12 and I liked Bionicles. And he completed all of those games. And he gave up on this game. This game isn't even like a completed, like a completionist game. This is just, that's how bad this game was. That's how bad it is. It's still bad. It's just bad. I think I've pretty much covered everything except there was one good thing about the game. And that was that um, it had online play, which was actually really fun. But I can't even show you it because there's no online play. So literally, I have nothing good to show you about this game. So, I guess that's it. A whole lot of bad and pretty much nothing good. That's that's this game. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some fun out of it. And uh, maybe you see how bad this game actually is. And if anyone tries to tell you otherwise, just punch them in the face. Cause they are wrong. This game is bad. I don't think anyone will try to tell you this game is good, honestly. But I, I, I played this game for a long time, trying to find something that is good about this game, and I just can't. And that's it for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, um, I'm probably gonna do a few more of these, but maybe about games that I'm actually happy about and that I do like that will be a bit more enjoyable because this game is just a pain to play and I can't imagine how it is to actually watch. So I won't let you I won't make you suffer through this game anymore. And I am never going to touch this game again once I stop recording this video. So thank you so much for watching. Please click like, subscribe, comment down below, and uh look forward to more quick scopes in the future. They probably won't be this long because they'll probably be a bit more put together and I'll actually know what I'm doing. But thank you again for watching and I will see you later.